Hello, I am Sai and I am about to show you how to change the hard drive on a CyberPower PC. Here's the CyberPower PC. Here it is. This is a CyberPower gaming PC. And you can see through the glass on the side, the hard drive is not working correctly. It wouldn't boot and we did everything that you are supposed to do to get it to boot. So they sent us a replacement hard drive. We're about to put it in here, show you how to do it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this power button. It's unplugged. I wanna make sure that all the power is drained out. And if there was any power left, pressing the power button like that would drain the rest out. And now I'm gonna remove all of the connections from the back of the CyberPower PC. We're going to be replacing the solid state drive, as you can see here. This is the particular one. First thing we want to do, we're going to remove this back here, the opposite side of the glass case. And you can just see there's two easy to unscrew knobs here. We're going to go ahead and take those off. And then you just slightly slide it towards the back, just out like this. You can see we're on the back of the computer. And as you come down here towards the bottom, you're gonna see that there is the drive inside there. Try and get a good view for you. See, it's inside there. See if I can focus in a little. There you go. And you can also see that there are many cables that are coming into the computer. So you can see there are two pieces connected into the back of this drive. I'm gonna remove both of those pieces nice and gently. So you can see here, I've put some tape on the one of the connections I've taken out and I'm gonna put tape on the other one too, just so that we don't forget which pieces go into our SSD. Also, on the smaller piece, this piece right here, which I'll show you where it connects, when you're pulling it out, you just kind of push down on this as you're pulling it and then just pull out very gently. And that piece comes out of this smaller connection area to the right. I've already removed this here, but I just want to point out this right here this little screw that is will be inside here will be in this hole here but it will be inside push back inside of the computer and that slot there's some slots you'll see them you'll be able to see them when you remove it but first you just remove the screw then you gently slide this towards you after you remove the screw so now you can see we've moved this out from the computer and you can see that the hard drive like we're going to replace here is on top but there are screws holding it in they're on the back so what we're going to have to do is just go ahead and disconnect our cables that are are on the bottom here we're going to disconnect those and we're going to mark them with a different color so we know that they go to this particular hard drive and then we're going to gently pull out using these two pieces here there's a but you push in here and you push in on the other side over here together and you gently pull out on this whole piece right here. You'll pull it out of this casing. And I just wanted to show you here that on this cable here and also on this cable up here, I've identified with tape with a little piece of card on it. So I know that these are the ones going to the the regular hard drive, not the solid straight drive. So we're gonna go ahead and have those there just so that we'll remember where we took these out from. Thought this might be helpful for you too, but you can see, so I've removed this, but I'm maneuvering it through here so that we'll remember that we have to go back through here. Okay, now you can see I have completely separated out the whole hard drive and SSD drive from the computer. And as I explained before, 
with this little push area here where you push from this side and this little push area here where you push in like this from each side then you can pull this out so now we've pulled out the regular one terabyte hard drive from this system here you can see what it looks like see this is how it went in and this is how it came out so now you can see here on the back of the container that the regular hard drive was in you can see these little four screws here there's only three in there but there's actually four places but we're going to remove those screws and then we're going to replace the hard drive on the other side so as you can see i'll just be reusing this mini phillips screwdriver to remove these screws so you can see here's the old hard drive it was on the front side here we just unscrewed these three screws and then it just comes loose and so now we're going to go ahead and replace it with the new drive and you'll see with your new drive there's a sticker on there you'll want to remove that before you put it on so we're going to replace this now this is the new one you can see you want your connectors your connections right there facing the front and you know this is the front where we took out the screw in the beginning so we're going to go ahead and put it on here this way and then we're going to screw it in from the other side Okay, I just want to point out that when you're screwing this hard drive back in or the SSD drive back in, you just want to go barely snug as you would with almost anything that is computer related. You don't want to take a chance of messing up anything. So put in the same screws you took out and just do it just to a barely snug. You can see now it is mounted and we're going to go ahead and put it back together. The next step will be going backwards going to put this back exactly how we took it out. We're going to slide the hard drive in just like this. And, and so now it's back in. Now we are ready to put our connections back onto our hard drive and slide it back in. And so we're going to connect the regular hard drive first. We'll connect these pieces after it's already back into the back of the machine. So before we put the hard drive, the whole hard drive back inside the computer, remember we took this piece out. So we just wanna go ahead and come back through here. And so you remember it was connected in through here. And then we just have to take it and insert it right here. And it just slides in nice and easy. You'll know it slides in when it goes in gently. So there's one space here all the way to the left. Then there's the smaller space to the left right here. And then we'll take our other piece from that came out of the hard drive. And we know because we marked it with this special card here. And that one was just on top here. And we'll go ahead and put that back in. So now we've got that connected and we'll go ahead and slide it in. Okay, so I just want to point out we're about to put our hard drive back in. But before we put it in, I just want to point out that there are these little areas right here and right here. They align on the inside of the computer to the left with these little clip areas that you can see that my son is pointing to. And point to the ones on the left, Kyle, Which those one? ones. Yeah, that one and then the one behind it to the back there. There are two little clips. You want to align it and kind of slide it in with those and then we'll line it up with the place where it screws in, in the front. And so now that we've got this positioned, ready to go back in, we're just gonna go ahead and reconnect our pieces here so we can remove this tape. So I'll just go ahead and remove this tape. I know, as, know already that it goes in the solid state drive. And we're gonna put it on the smaller connection and just move it in real nice and gentle. And then our other piece here, I'll go ahead and remove the tape from it. And we're gonna put it onto the larger connection. Make sure it looks nice and snug in there. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I have to say. Okay. So we're ready to go ahead and slide it back in now. Now that we've slid it in nice and gently, you're going to line your screw with this little hole right here. And if you need to, you can just push slightly forward on the bottom to line it up perfectly. And then this little screw, just hand screw screws right back in nice and gently and it was not in there more than just just snug that's it just barely snug you don't have to tighten it up so now that we've got our hard drive back in with our ssd drive 
all we're going to do is take all these extra cords that are sitting outside of the computer here and we're just going to gently tuck them in anywhere where they fit in the back of this computer. So now you can see we've just replaced the back and my son here is just screwing the pieces of or just screwing the screws, the hand screws back in and just snug, not super tight. You know that because you did it before, right Kyle? Yeah. And so the final step was just replugging in our cords and our mouse and everything to the back as we had them before. And so that would be something you just want to make sure you pay attention to which what you take out from where. But that's pretty self-explanatory because everything kind of fits in the right place. But if you're unfamiliar with doing something like this, you should definitely record so that you know exactly what you did. And that is how you replace the SSD drive on a CyberPower PC. And as you have seen, we also took out the hard drive. So if you needed to replace the regular one terabyte hard drive, then it would be just as easy to do as a result of watching this video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.